Hi, this is Samir, and this is another quick tip for DupitFX 1.6. And this time, I'm going to show you how to fill up a container with a pre-initiated state. For example, in an open water scene, uh, you probably know uh, the boat through open water scene I, I've posted in the community forums of Dipit uh, Plants and Effects on the website. And uh, well, it's a quick tip, so I'm just going to show you how easy it is done because a lot of users ask how how to accomplish that. So we just create a liquid solver here, get a generator, and as we want an open water scene, just reduce this here down to something, and let's assume just to uh, sh give you an example. Let's say this cube is actually um, a ship or something that is um, floating through an open water scene. So I simply create up. Oh, sorry. Simply create a box here. Make the size of the container. And the default that we know it's 500. Like this. Going down here, oh, maybe a little more, a little higher. So when we increase the resolution, it's a little more, uh, not so shallow. Well, <laughs> that's actually it. So you have your uh, ship. Of course, you would then create, for example, an obstacle and uh, simply link the polygon object as a mesh obstacle here. And it's settings of the obstacle object. And then, oh, I just convert it. Um, and then we simply simulate its motion like this. Up. And that's it, actually. But we can see if I now play a simulation, well, the emitter is emitting and emitting, 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 so we get a huge amount of. Uh, liquid particles, water particles in this case, which you of course don't want, so we go again to the emitter and into the water tap for the emission of water and we set a duration of only one. So it will now only generate liquid particles in the very first frame. And that's all that we need. As you can see, that's it. Right? And it's now moving through and we can already see some motion here, but of course it's not enough because uh, when we have, as you know, moving obstacles, <clears throat> we gotta go into the simulation tab here and activate the CAC obstacle movement forces. And I, advise, I simply advise you to take a look at the according uh, online update video that I once posted. I guess it was for 1.523 or something like that. So uh, we could now just change some translational strength here so we get more um, more power from the obstacle but we have a little <clears throat> you can see already now we have much more motion going on here but uh, this of course will get better once we have a higher resolution for example when we increase this to 60 like this um, in this case, because we only have so little motion at the surface, uh, we could actually even lower um, here the container size, like this for example, and we can save a lot of cells here, as you can see. Uh, maybe even further, like this. Uh, we can increase this now to 75 and simply get uh, more details, um, right? without uh, having too many cells uh, which are unused. Of course we could now cache it, but you can already see we have a much more influence already here uh, in front of the uh, ship or in our case the cube. And we will get uh, much nicer w waves now generated from the motion of the obstacle. Of course, because there are more cells involved and that simply means uh, there is more detail, emotional detail <coughs> um, 
that can be generated and we can already see we get nice waves here generated and nice uh, wake from the ship so well that's how it's done actually as you can see it is very very set up and pretty straightforward not much to do and hope it gives you something have fun